welcome everyone to another question and answer session for MRC's exam. Here, this is question: A 45 years old man present with a lipoma located posterior to the posterior border of the sternocleidal mastoid muscle, approximately four centimeter superior to the middle third of the clavicle. During surgical excision of the lesion, troublesome bleeding is encountered. Which of the following is most likely sources? So it is uh, one of the long scenario. So from here we have to find out the key points to answer the question. A 45 years old man present with lipoma and this lipoma is located posterior to the posterior border of the sternocleidal mastoid and it is 4 cm superior to the middle third of the clavicle. So, and suddenly bleeding encounter we have to find out the source of the bleeding we have the options the options are internal jugular vein external jugular vein common carotid artery vertebral artery and second part of the subclavian artery so first of all let's see some of the picture so here we can see this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle it attaches the mastoid here and it is the sternum and the clavicle so lipoma located posterior to the sternocleidomastoid that means it may be in this place or this place or this place and it is located from middle third of the clavicle it is four centimeter above so the here we can see the vessel present in this area is this vessel this is the vessel and this is the external jugular vein so there is possibility to injury to the external jugular vein during the excision of the lipoma and if it is located uh, which is located about 4 cm here we can see this is the middle third of the clavicle and 4 cm above along this line so this vessel and this vessel is the external jugular vein in the second picture also we can see this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle it arises from the sternum and clavicle and inserted into the mastoid and here we can see posterior to the sternocleidomastoid there is the vessel and this vessel is the external jugular vein and the lipoma located from the middle third there is the middle third here four centimeter above and here we can see within the four centimeter there is only one vessel and this vessel is the external jugular vein so there is injury to the external jugular vein during a lipoma excision as this lipoma is located behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle or posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and it is superior to the middle third of the clavicular about the 4 cm. So the external jugular vein it is the culprit vessel for bleeding during the lipoma excision which is located in the posterior triangle. Thank you all.